It's Catherine and welcome to my channel Sober to Makery or welcome back if you're one of my lovely subscribers. So how are you all doing? I hope you're all well. Well I thought I'd get up before work, I've done my hair, <laughs> put on a bit of makeup. I mean normally none of my family or anybody sees it being like look at this, this is lovely. <laughs> Only for my subscribers. <laughs> So yeah, I thought I'd get up um, before work and do my video. Um, it's a bit of a grey old day out there, but um, hopefully the lighting is okay. But um, yeah, I thought I'd come on and cheer myself up and all of you guys too, if it's a wet day when you're watching this, and show you some of my lovely fabrics. So I realised I haven't really been showing you many of my makes recently. Um, I am currently still doing the last couple of makes that I had for my August and September plans. So once I've got those done, I'm hoping to record my August and September makes. And that will be, I think, hopefully next week I record that. So yeah, that should be my next video. So I know it's another fabric. <laughs> video but I thought this time I would just show you a couple of fabrics that I have bought over the last uh couple of months I'd say probably over August and September I thought I'd just share those because I love seeing other people's fabrics so I thought probably you'd like to see them too so yeah right let's get on with the video so the first one that I've got to show you is a lovely viscose that I bought from oh it even says it on it it's one, got one of those lovely selvages again I got it from Guthrie and Garney. Can you see on the salvage there? It says Guthrie and Garney. And it's called, it's even got the name of it on here, Chikatita. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and it's a um, lovely viscose. Let me try and hold it out so that you can see the drape on it. Um, that's gorgeous lovely viscose and it's got all these beautiful colors in it and it was designed exclusively for Guthrie and Garney by a lady called Rachel Parker who also does lots of designs for I think it's Dashwood Studio um, and yeah it's just so beautiful I absolutely love all the colors that are in it I love the pinks um, I'm not so keen on yellow, but on this, I think it looks lovely. Um, I wouldn't normally choose to wear yellow. Um, I love these sort of aquamarine here, the lovely royal blue, and then the darker blues. And then there's even a corally pink in there, <laughs> which I love. Um, and yeah, I think on this blue background, it's absolutely gorgeous. So I got myself a meter and a half of this so this fabric was in one or a couple of different options for the Guthrie and Garney sew, uh, sewing society kits um, and I decided not to purchase the the kit that time because it was quite expensive and I couldn't really afford it but I just absolutely fell in love with the fabric and I knew that this fabric you wouldn't be able to get once it sold out um, so they just sort of did a exclusive run um, of a certain amount and then it was sold out but they obviously sold it separately and with the kits so I decided to get a meter and a half of it and um, um, I think I'm going to make a lovely blouse out of it, but I just absolutely love the colour. I think it's so beautiful. I don't know what blouse I'm going to make. I've got a few blouses that I've got on the go. I'm doing the a couple of Fibre Mood ones. I've got an ermine blouse by Fibre Mood that I've got cut out and I want to sew up. And I've also got the honey blouse by Fibre Mood cut out, which I mentioned in another video. So I'd like to finish both of those and see what I like, whether I like them. Um, and if they do, this possibly might become one of those. Um, so yeah, I just really like it. I think it looks lovely with jeans and also look lovely and smart if you're going out with maybe some darker jeans. Um, so yeah, I hope you like that one too. Oh, if you do want any of this fabric, they don't have this colourway left. But they do have the same pattern um, in, I think it's like a pale pink blush colour um, on the Guthrie and Garney website. I will link that down below. Um, yeah, that's the only colour they've got left in stock. But I thought I would just mention it that just in case anybody did fancy it. Right, next fabric is, it's another viscose. <laughs> I do love a viscose. Oh, oh, I've just remembered. I forgot to tell you what I'm wearing. Honestly, I'm so rubbish at this. Um, so I am wearing here. I don't know if you can see. I'll show you the back as well. Um, this is the um, Florence top by Merchant and Mills Patterns. Um, yeah, I absolutely love it. It's got this um, 
gathered tier that runs all the way back but it goes higher at the back and it's got a button back um and yeah i really like it um it's a great pattern you can also make it as a dress but i haven't made it as a dress um but yeah i really really like it i think it's a lovely pattern and this fabric was in a so Hayley jane subscription box i want to say a couple of years ago um and it's a lovely viscose with yeah this pink and blue pattern and these sort of bits of um red in as well hence why i put red buttons at the back um but yeah sorry so rubbish but yeah it's a viscose hence why i suddenly thought oh <laughs> i must talk about my top because <laughs> i love <a> viscose <laughs> so yeah this fabric oh it's very bright and colorful um it is what was it called i think it was called notting hill carnival or something and you can see why i mean it's got these amazing feathers on it it's absolutely beautiful um i'm not sure it's directional i think it's sort of anyway up will do they almost look like peacock feathers but i don't um there's no actual peacocks on it but it's beautiful and this navy background with um these absolutely beautiful vibrant colors on it um, and i got this from stitch and ink fabrics and it was a remnant piece so they haven't got any more of this i'm afraid but it's absolutely beautiful i just snapped it up because i just thought it was gorgeous i think it's possibly a more summery top i was thinking a floaty summery maybe sleeveless top um that i could pair with some pink jeans or something um but yeah so this will probably get put away until next summer but i just really loved it and yeah they had i think was it a meter yeah i think it's just about a meter so it's not very much but i'm hoping it'll be enough just to make a sort of sleeveless top um not sure what pattern um i'll have a think about that if you've got any ideas let me know um so yeah that was my other one then this one i'm joining the double gauze appreciation society club <laughs> Ever since doing my lovely make on collaboration with Michelle from Sewing Bunny, um, I have fallen head over and heels in love with double gauze. And um, oh, it's such a lovely top to wear that I made. And I've also been admiring uh, Ruan's uh, double gauze pyjamas that she, she's been making. Um, and I'm going to totally copy her. So <laughs> I bought this lovely double gauze. Oh, it is so soft and snug. It's just, oh, it's just so soft and snuggly. It's gorgeous. I absolutely love it. And it's in this sort of leopardy print, um, corally pink <laughs> with a pale pink background. Um, and it's absolutely lovely. It I got it from Just So Penrith. And they were having a summer sale in August and they had 25% off any of their fabrics. And I could not resist. I thought, well, 25% off. I think they still have got this in stock, so I will link it down below. Um, yes, it's gorgeous double gauze. And I'm going to make, now let me get this right. I am going to completely steal Ruan's. She made, I saw them and I thought I, I'm going to make those pyjamas too. I think it's the loungewear set by Peppermint Magazine. I will link it down below and I'll also put a picture in of it. Um, it's like a lovely sort of relaxed top with um, sort of baggy trousers for pyjama bottoms. Um, and you can make them into shorts. But I think I'll do the length that they are. Maybe I might maybe three quarter length them for pyjamas and then yeah, make the top. So yeah, I think I got myself two and a half meters of this, which I'm hoping will be plenty to make that pyjama set. And yeah, I'd really like to make this up. I think it would be, I mean, I'm holding it here and it's. I feel it's warm, yet I can imagine it keeps you cool as well. So I think it could be an all year round pyjama set. So um, yeah, I must make those up soon because I just absolutely love that. Um, right, now next fabric is this fabulous cotton jersey. So I got this, and you probably, lots of you will recognise this. This is a So Haley Jane fabric. Now I got this when she did a little outlet sale. Um, when was it? I think it was at the end of August. Um, and yeah, she had loads of her... Um, ends of rolls because obviously she, they get loads and loads of rolls of fabric for their subscription boxes and they obviously have fabric left over at the end of the month um, and they had lots and lots of fabrics and then other little bits that were from boxes that were, they were selling off and it was her big outlet sale so she had some massive reductions on this on her um, end of roll fabrics and um, various uh, sort of haberdashery bits that go in the boxes. So I snapped this up. It's an absolutely gorgeous cotton jersey um, with these amazing sort of spotty stripes on them. Got more corally pink in there. <laughs> 
bit obsessed, I know. Um, and yeah, it's got a lovely stretch on it and lovely recovery. Look at that, it doesn't even go white when you pull it. It's a fabulous jersey. Now I got two meters of this and it was a ridiculously good price. I think it was something like six pounds a meter, which I thought was a bargain. It's an absolutely gorgeous cotton jersey, super soft. Um, so yeah, and if she has got any left in the outlet shop, I'll link it down below. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. And when you get something from, um, buy something from So Hayley Jane, they always put in an extra goodie and the extra goodie they put in was a fabulous pencil. Oh, let's see if I've got it here. Oh, I have. Look at that. Can you believe that? That was lucky. Um, and that this one says, let me do that so you can see it. Queen of sewing. So, yeah, they put in an extra little treat, which I thought was lovely. So, yeah. Um, but what I'm going to do with this, you will find out more in October as I'm going to do another little collaboration. Uh, I won't tell you who it's with yet, but I will. Yeah, I will give you the hint that, yes, I'm going to do another little collaboration with another lovely uh, YouTuber. And um, she actually messaged me because I mentioned uh, one in one of her videos that she had the same fabric. And she said, oh, would you like to do a collaboration? And I thought, yes, please. So, um, yeah. So, yeah, you will see what I make with that in October. So I'm not going to tell you anything else on that one. <laughs> right. And then the last fabric, it's quite a heavy one, <laughs> is this amazing wool. Let me try and fold a piece out so you can see it. Sorry, I've had it all neatly folded. Right. Can you see that? It's got this lovely sort of navy and then ivory stripe. It's a lovely wool. I'll try and sort of show you the weight of it. It's hard to show you the weight of it, but show you how it moves. It's quite structured, um, as it should be really for a wool. And um, I got this from a D stash on Instagram, and it was from So Do It Emma. Hello, Emma, if you're watching. Um, and um, yeah, she was um, selling off some of her fabrics that she didn't want anymore on her D-Stash page. And um, I spotted this wool and I thought, you know what, this would make a lovely, lovely coat. Now I've got a um, pattern for a coat that I would really like to try. And I thought I would use this as a wearable toile for that pattern, because I have also got some lovely coral wool that I bought last year um, that I'd really like to make the coat of, but I really want to toile it first. I'm sure I'm going to have to make some kind of pe petite adjustments um, for the length of my body and possibly my arms. Um, but the pattern I want to do is the Sew Over It Cocoon Coat. Now I've had this pattern for quite a while and I've not made it up, so I'm determined this winter is going to be about jackets and coats so this is going to be my toile um i haven't got a lining for it yet i'm going to see if i can maybe muddle together some lining that i've got so maybe some quilting cotton that i've got or a cotton in my stash already um see what i can do um just so that i don't have to buy any more fabric because i really don't need to buy any more fabric <laughs> um but yeah i absolutely love this wool it's really lovely so thank you emma and um yeah i will keep you up to date when i get onto my coat making and i think it will make a really lovely cocoon coat so yeah so yeah that is all my fabrics um what else do i have to say i don't know if i have anything else to say <laughs> Apart from, um, yeah, I hope you really enjoyed having a look at those new fabrics that I've got. I hope you're all really well. Um, what else have I got to say? I don't know, there's not just to say. But I um, hope you like the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. And yeah, I will be back soon with my makes from August and September. And I can't wait to share with you what I've been making recently. Um, I know that you guys like to see what I've been making. So yeah, I will make sure that that is the next video that you get. But yeah, keep well, have a lovely, lovely weekend or week and happy sewing. Mwah.